So it's the moment of truth. Kelly's like, you're crazy, like what are we doing? Wow, this is gonna be a big change. Can't believe I'm painting a couch. <laughs> oh, crazy. Hey guys, I'm Michelle, and a few years ago, I was a single mom to Lincoln, Ava, and my stepdaughter, Gracie. This is Kelly, and he was busy single dadding his boys, Ethan and Wyatt. Fast forward a few short years, we met, bought a house together, got engaged, got married, and are now living the most beautiful adventure of our lives. Now don't get me wrong, being blended is not always easy, and we certainly aren't perfect, but follow along with us as we live our happily blended ever after. All right guys, so it's the moment of truth. We are going to try and chalk paint fabric. Uh, from the videos I've watched online, it looks great. I even watched them do a, like a crushed velvet old couch and uh, they showed that it was still soft and plush and I'm really hoping for that effect. When I went into my local chalk store, paint store, they showed me an example of the one they had done and it was quite hard and crispy. So I'm hoping that it might have been an application error but I must admit I'm quite nervous. So. I've got my biggest cushion up here, so it's a little bit like go big or go home. What I'm going to do is paint it gray. So I purchased um, Little Lamb, the color Little Lamb. And I can't remember what brand of chalk paint this is. Oh, it's Fusion Mineral Paint. So what I'm gonna do is water this down a little bit. I've got a spray bottle ready to go and I'm going to spray the fabric where I'm working because it needs to be wet to accept the chalk paint. And again, what everybody keeps saying is that this is more like dyeing the fabric. I'm probably gonna have to do a couple coats. I'm gonna keep you guys posted on how this works out. Um, it's a little bit scary to be honest, but I'm really excited because as you can see, the, the burgundy is just not the look that I want in that beautiful white RV that we were working on. So um, stay tuned, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I've watered down my chalk paint and I kind of just wanted to show you the consistency that I chose to do it. Um, again, using teaspoons here rather than going for a ton of water and not being able to reverse it. So my chalk paint is ready to go. I've also got my water, so I'm just gonna really thoroughly wet. The more that you wet your fabric, the longer it will take your chalk paint to dry. But I also feel, maybe this isn't true, but this is how I feel, that the, it'll go in softer, the wetter it is. So I don't mind waiting a lot of time between coats if it's gonna give me that more fabric-y feel. Um, so just make sure it's really so thin. I'm just gonna start with a small section down here. Um, and then we're gonna go, you guys. Oh my goodness. All right, we're just going to brush it on. Okay, it's looking great so far. I'm using a regular chalk or regular paint brush, although you can use chalk paint brushes. And I'm just gonna go all the way over this until I'm seeing the same color all the way across. So far it's looking really good. Wow, this is gonna be a big change. What I'm loving is that the texture is coming through because I do think the leaves on this are really pretty. I just don't particularly love the color. Can't believe I'm painting a couch. <laughs> oh, crazy. This takes my paint all the things to the next level, you guys. So I think that it's gonna be a bit, you know, like objective to know if all the fabric has gotten the same amount of paint. Okay, so you can see that the detail is showing through and I love that. 
And I'm just gonna continue on working all the way through this cushion. I'll show you when it's over. Okay, so I wanted to give a few notes mid-project. Um, it's going on really well. I find the wetter the cushion is, the easier it spreads. Another thing I'm really loving is that you don't need to worry too much about even distribution because um, you can go back in after and just go like this. And if it's absorbing uh, differently, like I had a spot right here and I'm still not sure if it's like a grease spot or something like that from the previous owners. So I just really wet it down with a spray bottle, took a fresh uh, bit of paint and just went through. And uh, it's still quite wet, like you can see the dye, maybe you can't see this, but the uh, chalk paint moves around on it still. So it's gonna be really great. I think with two more, like one more coat after this, I'm gonna be loving it. So again, like to this spot right here, I can go in and touch that up uh, with just a fresh dab of paint. And I'm really watering the paint down. Like it works with, it's so much easier to work with. And like that'll look a bit darker because I just put another coat on. But what I'm finding is that the fabric it is, is absorbing it very evenly. So even though it went on a little bit darker there, um, the overall look is very evenly distributed. As I'm looking right now, I see kind of a darker spot right here. So I'm just gonna take a little bit more paint and go right in on top of that. And uh, just spread it all out. But I am just loving this light gray. It's gonna look so good inside the trailer. Um, I'm gonna go, I decided to go for the beachy theme, which is kind of creams and whites, light grays, and some pops of teal um, and shiplap and things like that. So I'm super excited, you guys. It's going on great. Uh, I will let you know if I have any more obstacles or tips and tricks. Hey guys, so my first coat on this beautiful dinette bench has been completed and I'm loving how it's looking. I'm gonna give you guys a close up um, right away here, but I'm super excited because we have a horseshoe dinette in this RV and yet, as you guys know, we're a blended family of six and if my stepchildren from my first marriage join our family, which they do sometimes, we're a family of eight. So it'll be really nice to gather around um, this table and I can imagine us playing card games and making all kinds of family memories in this RV. So here is the dinette. I'm gonna try to get up. You can see the texture of the pattern is coming through. Yeah, I'm like super happy with the color and how it looks, so stay tuned to see the finished product. Okay, so for me, this is the moment of truth. I'm going on to my backrests from the dinette, and as you can see, there's the other fabric, which I've already successfully painted, as well as some microfiber velvet type fabric. So I have been assured online that this is gonna be a success, and I get to now find out if it is. So I'm gonna get painting that, and I will give you an update soon. All right, so update on how the chalk painting is going with the microfiber velvet. So here's the color that it was previously, burgundy and tan, um, and then that is how it looks chalk painted so far. So I can tell uh, to my own eye that it's gonna need a couple of coats. I would say the beige is coating better than the burgundy, but it's going on pretty good. I just hope it's not crispy. That'll be the true test when I update you guys tomorrow once it's all dry, because I think it's gonna take 24 hours to dry since I'm wetting it quite, quite well. Um, I'll let you know how it feels to the touch and I will be honest. I still have these to paint. I'm just gonna get a spray paint, white chalk paint, to paint over the valences that are gonna go back up on the wall. So that won't take too long. Oh, I know what I wanted to tell you. So I started chalk painting my furniture for the dinette and was considering chalk painting the couch. And everybody online said, no, no, like as long as you get it nice and wet, water down your paint, sand it after, it stays nice and soft. And that is just not true. It just isn't true. Um, so what I've decided to do is do slip covers. And I was going to, I got a quote for reupholstering only three cushions here, because I was gonna paint some and do the reupholstering on the stuff that was really bad, and the couch. 
and just with those four pieces it came out to be about fifteen hundred dollars which to me I just was like no way I've already spent a lot of money on paint and everything else so that was a no and then I went on Amazon and I'm gonna link the actual slipcover that I ordered into this video but it is a stretchy elastic material and it's got elastic band on the back so you can put it over anything and it sucks right up onto that piece of furniture. So I'm so excited um, that I'm going to be getting it on in two days so I can see how, exactly how it's gonna fit here um, for the couch instead of having to recover or repaint this thing. Um, and it's nice and soft and cozy, the fabric, so I'm really excited about how that's gonna look in here. Okay, so here's my update on chalk painting. What I discovered is that although you can paint fabric, it is quite crunchy and I'm not loving the way that it feels for sitting on. So I went on to Amazon and I found some cushion covers which I'm actually really happy with. And they are elastic and stretchy. So what I did is, I'm gonna put that right up. You can see that it's got a bit of a texture. It's super soft and cozy which is what I wanted for the camper because that's where we're gonna be spending a lot of time is the couch and the dinette. Um, and it, this particular, like the one that's good for a couch cushion, covers um, you know the squares and that was $20. I used the same cushion cover for the long ones and I just sort of had to tuck the fabric around because it doesn't fit perfectly uh, but it does the job and once it's in there with cushions you won't even notice. Um, so that was the longest one and then this one the the couch sorry the chair cushion fits perfectly so these were all chair cushions and then underneath this which I don't think I can get to right now I ordered the couch cushion and this is the long dinette bench seat and then I ordered two of these for the jackknife couch in the trailer. So all together, these ones are $40, um, so all together I spent about $280 to recover the dinette and the couch. So I was really happy with that price, like I said it's elastic, super easy to put on, stays on really nice, um, soft, love the color, it's a dark enough color for camping that I'm not going to worry about dirty feet and um, also fits our color palette. So that was like a big win for me. I would recommend do not chalk paint any sort of furniture. Now, that being said, I had to chalk paint these guys because this is the corner cushion that pops in the middle. Um, I chose to do white. There's gonna be cushions in front of this anyways, um, and I don't mind that it's crispy because there's gonna be cushions. And one thing that can reduce the crisp if you do have some pieces like this that you have to paint is sanding it down with a sanding block. Um, then it gets a little bit of that softer fabric feeling back, but it's never going to be the same. I, I want to be honest with you about that. What I did love chalk painting was these pieces. Let me get it for you. So this one got left out in the rain by accident. So it did have two coats on it and it melted off. But this is the piece that goes down beside the couch and it was burgundy and it paints up so nice. So these are like the valence pieces, but down around the dinette to cover like, you know, wiring and things like that. All right guys, check it out. I'm so excited that all of these panels, which I thought I was gonna have to spray paint in the trailer and uh, make a big huge mess, they actually come right off with those button screws. These are awesome to paint. They paint white, it looks beautiful. I can't wait to show you the finished product. So where I've been loving chalk painting is on the valences. It looks great, don't care if it's crunchy. On the boarding around the dinette, looks great, don't care if it's crunchy. Anything you want soft, I would recommend going to Amazon and getting um, some nice slip covers. I will link those in the bottom of this video for you guys as well. So that is my honest review on chalk painting fabric. We're almost there, guys.